Hey guys, this is Mike of Mike's Likes. Um, today I'm here with my refractor telescope. This is a baby telescope. This is a Orion Short Tube 80. And you can see there's not much to this refractor. Um, this is an 80 millimeter refractor, so that's just about three inches large. And um, it's been in Orion's catalog for maybe 20 years. It's It's been around forever and they've sold it in various configurations. There's a four inch version of this one. There's uh, there's there's all sorts of versions that are kind of more intended for uh, terrestrial observing and stuff. I've got this set up for um, just uh, wide field photography of like large stuff like the entire Pleiades cluster or the entire Orion Nebula. It's only a 400 millimeter focal length so that's almost like a camera lens and as a result it makes it really easy to aim. So You'll see standard stuff that you find in a refractor. You've got your focus wheel here. This tube comes out, lets you focus. Uh, you've got your diagonal, star diagonal. You've got your dew shield, this part's removable, and your rings to mount it. Um, what I actually do with this one, and you're gonna have to give me a second, I'll, I'll uh, do some movie magic here, is I actually mount this to my Celestron SE arm, and I take the Schmidt Cassegrain off and I put this on. And the reason why I do that is because this is 400 millimeters and that's 1500. So this is almost, three times wider, maybe a little more than the 6SE. Now the 6SE is really great for planetary observing, but if you're gonna observe wide fields and take some EAA, some, some kind of astrophotography, if you put it on EQ mount, you can do that. These are really popular for astrophotographers as guide scopes, they work really well for that. It's not an apochromatic, it's it's just um, you know standard glass, so you are gonna see some, some color skew and stuff like that. But for the price, you can't get better. So what you'll see here is that I've mounted this uh, Ryan Short Tube 80 on my Celestron SE Nexstar mount. And this just uses a standard uh, Vixen dovetail and it just bolts in right where the SCT was. It's really compatible. And you know, the amazing thing about this is it go-tos very simply because once you align it to two stars, it's good to go. And let me tell you, at 400 millimeters versus 1500 millimeters, this thing is more than three times easier to align than the orange tube uh, Schmidt Cassegrain that I showed you earlier. And you know, the, the mount does its thing and the tube is just there. So this thing's ready to move up and down wherever you want to point it. Um, I use this thing very often to image big things in the sky that don't fit on a super high magnification. If you're observing just with visual, so with eyepieces, you can get down to about 15 times magnification, which is on par with binoculars. So it depends how you use this thing, but it's a lot of fun. And considering that these things are like under $100 and you buy them lightly used, a lot of astrophotographers unload them, you just can't go wrong. So big fan of the Orion Short Tube 80. Um, it, it's just the easiest way to get into the telescope world. They're on eBay, they're on cloudy nights, you can find these things just about anywhere. And they're built to last. They're cheap, but they're good. And they work really well. And you don't have to spend a thousand dollars for an apochromatic refractor if you don't want to. You can buy a short tube 80 and have a lot of fun with them. And switch and, and match between your SCTs and your refractors. So, thanks for watching the video. If you like what I'm doing, throw a like and uh, subscribe to the channel. And I uh, hope to see you soon. Take care and have a great day.